How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ocean's Reviews here today. So today I've got another video for you. I've got a Blu-ray hunting trip for you. So I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while now. It's maybe probably been a few months. Um, but I wanted to get out today and show you guys, you know, just like an out and about trip. I went to uh, the usual uh, sort of locations that I always go to, which would be CEX and a JB Hi-Fi. These are like my one-stop shops for movies nowadays. Um, but anyway, so I filmed a few clips, you know, inside the, you know, in JB Hi-Fi and in uh, CEX. So I hope you guys enjoy those. And I'll show you my pickups at the end of the video. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
I hope you guys enjoyed that little adventure in JB Hi-Fi. Now I'm gonna do a bit of a voiceover just to mix it up a bit, you know, a bit of a music montage. And now we're in CEX going through and having a look at all the titles I have on offer. So most of the time before I come into CEX, I like to um, have a look online to see what they have. So I get a, I guess a general idea of what, you know, I might want or what I'm looking for. Um, because I don't like to spend a whole lot of time in store. I like to just jump in and jump out. Um, but I do have a, a decent look. Because um, sometimes what they have online is different to what they have in store. Sometimes they have just random things in store that isn't even advertised on their website. So um, sometimes I do like to take my time in store and we're just browsing through here having a look see what they've got so this is my local cex here um usually most of the titles are the same but sometimes you know we do get a bit of an influx of you know newer stuff so it's worth popping in every like couple of weeks or so um so yeah, at the moment, just looking through all the anime stuff. I was actually thinking about picking up that season one of Goblin Slayer, but it was actually a reprinted cover, so I decided not to. Um, but we did score some pretty cool stuff in CEX today. Uh, there's some things that have been sitting here for just ages because the prices are just kind of a bit expensive. Um, or I don't know, they've just been sitting there for ages for whatever reason, I guess, maybe because people aren't really interested in the film, I suppose. That could be another reason. Um, but a lot, a lot of the stuff here doesn't really leave the store. They, they, it does stay here for some time. You do see a lot of the same stuff. Um, I was thinking about picking up that Transformers collection, the three movie collection there, but I decided not to. I might actually go back at some point this week and see if it's still there. Because um, I wouldn't mind owning those on uh, Blu-ray. Um, but in my local CX here, it's just this sort of middle aisle here and there's just movies either side and that's about it. Um, so... There isn't really too much on offer, um, but there is enough. Um, sometimes there's some hidden gems, of course. Uh, but yeah, we're just pretty much just going through, being very thorough, not missing anything. You know, I like to... Uh, just make sure I see what's really like there. Um, Cause as I said, there's a lot of stuff that they advertise online that's completely different to what, you know, is actually in store. Um, like for instance, that Raging Bull wasn't advertised on their website. Um, it was actually literally just on the shelf. Um, so it's one of the reasons I was like, oh, I picked it up straight away. Um, but you know, just looking at some of the uh, DC animated titles there, I have been keeping a lookout um, for those animated titles, um, been sort of getting into them lately. 
was really interested about that Big Hero 6 3D Blu-ray case because it's, you know, I've never seen a yellow 3D Blu-ray case before. So that was quite something different. Um, we're just going through here. So mixed in with the Blu-rays at my store, we have like a small section of 4Ks as well, um, but not really too much. Uh, a lot of the 4Ks are sort of just really common titles. Um, we got a Cruella steelbook there for 25. That's actually gone up in price since I've been in the store. So it's gone up by like at least, yeah, like $5 because it was, I'm pretty sure, $19 or $20 before when I saw it before. Um, we got Eraser there, Evil Dead, Expendables. Um, got some other bits. I was looking at that, the eyes wide shut there. So we do have a fair few interesting titles here at CEX today. Um, got a few cool little bits here and there. Um, and we got this ghost sort of Blu-ray VHS release. Not really sure what's like what those sort of releases entail. I don't know what they include. I'm not sure if they include anything special or if it's just like just the VHS case and it's like just supposed to be that aesthetic. Um, but now we come to an end. So guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys enjoyed those few little clips of me just out and about doing my thing, fumbling around. Um, I didn't actually pick up anything in um, JB Hi-Fi this time around. They had some good deals. Um, they had uh, like a two for 44 Ks, two for 30 movies, just in general, DVDs, Blu-rays and 4 Ks. They had um, two for 20 movies. Um, they had some nice figurines in, which I, I think I showed you guys a little snippet of those in there. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually pick up anything from JB Hi-Fi. Nothing really caught my attention and the, just the sales weren't really that good. I don't know, like, they didn't really warrant the purchase for me. Nothing caught my eye, but there was a few things at CEX that I picked up. Now, I didn't actually, well, I used a voucher that I previously, uh, previously had um, at CEX this time around because um, a few months ago, I uh, actually offloaded a, uh, a whole bunch of movies that I just sort of got rid of. I knew that I wasn't going to watch them again, and they were just movies that I wasn't really too interested in so I just got rid of some I got rid of some stuff you know had a little bit of a clear out just went through my collection um, as you do um, so with that voucher I bought some stuff and I still have some money left over on that voucher which is great and that I can spend for next time next time around um, so let's get into it I picked up three movies at CEX um, so let's get into it now First of all, I picked up The Incredible Hulk. Now, lately I've been on kind of like a little bit of a Hulk phase. I went back and rewatched Eric Banner's Hulk, the original, that Hulk movie, um, which I do have fond memories of that film and I've always really enjoyed it. Um, so I kind of wanted to go back and rewatch them and add them to the collection. So I picked up this one as well with uh, Edward Norton, which I really enjoy Edward Norton as like an actor. I think he's quite good. Um, I still haven't seen him in the newest uh, Knives Out film, which I, I'm kind of interested now to watch that film because he's in it, because um, I like him as an actor. Um, but yeah, so Incredible Hulk. I don't really remember this film too much, to be honest, because I feel like I've only watched it maybe a few times. So, you know, quite a long time ago. I've only watched it maybe a couple of times, but yeah, so I picked that up for $2. So this is something that I'm, yeah, gonna return to, have a kind of a bit of a fun time with. Um, now, next on the, the list here of things that I got, I got a, a movie that I've seen quite a few times and the price has always been kind of a little bit high on it. So I've sort of just waited for it to come down to a 
pretty reasonable price and um, I got Contagion. So I've always enjoyed this film. I think it's a pretty good film. It has a pretty good cast in it. Um, you know, we got some Matt Damon. We got some Lawrence Fishburne in it. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Pretty scary. Um, and you can you could probably relate to this film. I'm sure everyone could because you know, of course, of what's happened in the world uh, as of lately. Um, you'd obviously know if you've seen this film um, that it's quite relatable. Uh, so I think it's a really good movie. Uh, I've always enjoyed it. Contagion. So got that on Blu-ray. This was $3. If it wants to focus. $3. So not bad. Good pickup. It's always been about in my CEX about maybe $6, $5 around there. And I was actually going to pick it up at that price, but it actually went down to three dollars and I thought that's the price I'm gonna buy it at that's a pretty good price so that's when I bought it now I bought another movie here this one it was fantastic I watched it on streaming maybe I want to say like a month and a bit ago my first time watching it and I absolutely loved it I thought it was great um, but you know I never thought I would be able to pick it up because it's kind of a movie that's Kind of hard to find, unless you want to buy it on DVD. Um, I know there's a criterion of it, but it's that's not something that I'm gonna, you know, really sort of buy and invest in just because it's like, you know, getting it in from the US and that whole ordeal is just too much, uh, too much money. And I think um, I was pretty lucky to find this, and I got. Raging Bull with Robert De Niro. I thought this film was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It was great. Um, I have. A, I've been. I sort of have like an ongoing debate with myself whether if I like this film more or Taxi Driver. Like I sort of don't know which film I like more. But I thought this film was great. I thought it was fantastic. Robert De Niro in this was just. His acting is just amazing. He's just so good. And um, also, another standout is, um, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I'm gonna try and read it here if I can. If I can even find his name. Yeah, Joe Pesci. I don't know, I don't know if you say his name like Joe Pesci or P Joe Pesci, but he was fantastic in this film as well. His performance was just great. And this is a great Martin Scorsese film. It's, he's such a good director. He really is. Um, but this is one definitely that if I could get a hold of a Criterion, this would be the Criterion I'd buy of Raging Bull, I think, um, over anything else. Just because... Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't know why. I feel like because I've most connected with this film out of the Criterion catalogue the most um, of what they've got to offer. But, yeah. Raging Bull, guys. This was amazing. If you haven't seen it, great boxing movie. Probably, I don't know, I think it's probably even better than... Actually, no, I probably wouldn't go to that extent, but I was going to say it could be better than Rocky. Maybe not, but I don't know. I love it. I think it's great, and I'm happy to add it to the collection. So I got these three from CEX, um, my first sort of Blu-ray trip out since, you know, Christmas and the holidays and getting sick. So a couple of titles there to keep me busy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got some other videos coming out soon. Um, and as I've said uh, previously, the Nicolas Cage movie reviews are going to continue very soon. Um, so look out for those. Look out for those. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I'll see you in the next one.